Grammar Reference 5.2 1. I need some money to pay my bills. 2. Do you have any Chinese coins in your collection? 3. There are a few receipts in my wallet. 4. I don't carry too much cash with me. 5. Do you have enough change for the bus? 1 just give me a second. So welcome back. Now it's time for you to listen. Second time. Ready? We go. Grammar Reference 5.2 1. I need some money to pay my bills. 2. Do you have any Chinese coins in your collection? 3. There are a few receipts in my wallet. 4. I don't carry too much cash with me. 5. Do you have enough change for the bus? And now we're having the last time, the third time. After this, please, I need people to raise hands. So according to your hands raised, I will give you the turns to write the sentences, okay? So last time. Grammar reference 5.2. 1. I need some money to pay my bills. 2. Do you have any Chinese coins in your collection? 3. There are a few receipts in my wallet. 4. I don't carry too much cash with me. 5. Do you have enough change for the bus? Okay, it's time for you to write in the chat. Daniela, maybe I see some people. Just give me a second, as usual. Two participants, 
So maybe Diana or um, Diana or let's see, let's see Daniela, who else? Oops. The writer is perfect. So go ahead, start right in the chat, please. Number one, you put it. You don't have to be perfect. You can help each other in the correct one. Please, guys, do it quickly. It's not like the main. So please. You're totally right. Yes, Diana. Marcela, welcome back. Yes, continue, maybe. Do you have any Chinese coins? And only one piece. No, no, don't be sorry. It's okay. Collection? No. Your. Your, Daniel. It's okay. Continue. Somebody else? I don't care, I don't carry. I don't carry, yes. You didn't say like care? No, no, no care. Cash with me. Final stop. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Uh, do you have it? Do you have enough change for the bus? Okay, as you can see, that was kind of because that was the first part. Activity on page 143. Okay. So that was like the introductory activity for you to recognize and try to identify, which is the topic of the day. Mm -hmm. And I have a piece of paper, well, like I'm of my agenda and a pen in which I will start writing participation. This is the participation that I have in Zoom as I can. Who speak about the topic? Is, you tell me. Yes, quantifiers, Catherine. You're right. Mm -hmm. A few receipts in my wallet. Yes, capital letter in there, and at the end a final stop mm -hmm. in my wallet. Mena, you're right. Okay. So as I am telling you, some few people, let's say five, four people, will open their cameras and they will open. They will say they will start a kind of discussion about. Countable and countable, you don't understand. Maybe you can just open the camera to make a question, to formulate a doubt in terms of some versus a little versus a few versus too much and too many. Okay. Yesterday there was a correction. One of the participants in yesterday class spoke about yes, this is a good activity about the wolf. Remember the wolf catching the the, the rabbit, and we were constructing the blocks. So one person gave us their opinion and he said, yeah, it's a good activity, but the problem is that there are a many, you want good to say many what? Many open. Okay, okay. So as we continue, I would like to have one person here in this moment to voluntarily Open the microphone so this person can read exercise for it. Please, somebody. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe you put it. Daniela or Elizabeth, okay. I don't know who. Who of both you two? Odina? Patience. People that I mentioned, please. Okay. Diana, Jimena? Uh, the exercise one? Yeah, exercise one. Okay. As a, um, as a beginning, I have a question for you, Jimena, mm -hmm. very quickly. In which cases do you use any? Can, can you repeat, please? Mm, problems, um, connectivity. Jimena, right in the chat. Uh -huh. Okay, Diana and the next participant would be Jimena or Lina, because I know they want to speak. So, go ahead, Diana. Tell me. Complete the sentence with some or any number. Have you got any kinds? I used to have the book anyway. Sorry again, this happens like all the time. I don't know, there are like times in the moments in the morning when everything is like collapsing. Oh, computers really very taking class and online. Okay, uh, number two, uh, they don't want any help from us. Number three, do you yeah, have number some? One, number one, you don't read it, please, so everybody can have an idea. Okay, of... number one, have you got any coins? Okay, I go explain it. You use it because it's negative. You use it, have you got some coins? It's okay, but it's not enough for any case. Any, we negative. use any number when... Two. Wait, okay, yeah. So, uh, they don't want any help from us. So negative, any. Yeah. Uh, do you have Continue. any euros in your wallet? Okay, maybe the pronunciation of euros in your wallet. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, would you like some coffee? It isn't expensive. Okay, I'm, on your book, in this section in the blue one, they spoke about how to use some for offerings, remember? Offerings and requests. Yeah. Continue, Diana. Uh, I need some time to relax. Yeah, and, and fine. six. Finally, we don't have any expensive clouds. Expensive clouds. Okay, I know that in this moment, Elizabeth is kind of motivated, so we're gonna go straight to number two, and then we'll have a different activity about the objectives. So please, in the meantime, you can start opening your Word or the forum or virtual UGC, because we are going to talk about that. Remember the idea is following instructions and being aware of the times and the deadlines and the moment you have to present everything. It's not a lot of work, I try to do it, on time. Well, Anna, go ahead, number two. I, Nicolas, said first. Uh, wait a minute. Let's listen to Anna. And then later, Nicolas is going to start reading number three, please. Do you agree, my friend, Mr. Ospina? All right. Go ahead, Anna Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Two. 
Com com complete the phrases with a few, a little or a lot of. One. Uh, a lot of money. Yep. Uh, two. A few coins. Okay. Three. A little deep. Four. A little depth. A little depth. A little depth. Four. A lot of banknotes. Five. A few years. And six. A lot of time. Okay. Any question, guys, on the following or opening the microphone? Do you have any questions about these exercises one and two? Or even about the dictation? Difficult words? Mm -hmm. Some people were sleeping, so they didn't know that it, they already had the information. Some people was kind of easy because they read the listening on page 143. And those are some listenings that you also find in the website of Navigate. In navigating that website, you have all the listening and all the video activities. So you just download them. Remember, I explained like in a tutorial. So you work on that autonomously. I don't have to present all the audios in this time. We don't have the time, but eventually I play like the most important ones. Questions? Yes, hey. Questions before I start with the next activity. Please, somebody. Linda, you said you had a question, but. A lot, what? Uh, hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, teacher, uh, ha um, I have a question. Sure. I, I don't understand in the moment I use a few or a lot of, a lot of Okay, but those are totally different stories because a lot is a big quantity. And the other one, a few, is for a small quantity. For example, in this moment, we have some students in the Zoom classroom. But at 7 a.m., because of any reason, we only had a few, a few students, a small quantity of students. But if you say, at a lot of students is totally different. It's like many students, more than many. All right? More or less, Kat? Uh, yes, teacher. Sí. Yes. I, I see. Yes, I see you. Okay, I'm going to start sharing the screen because I want to go to, if in case you don't have campus virtual, that UGC, that edu, that co. I'm going to show you on the screen because this is kind of important for English, pre intermediate but also for all the subjects in these weeks. Mm -hmm. So let me share the screen for a second. There it is. Can you see it well? Well, I hope you do. Yes, teacher. All right. <clears throat> so we are here in our course in the platform which is held by Moodle, but this is virtual UGC. Every time that I say, go to the platform or go to virtual UGC, I'm talking about this, okay? Maybe when we have important dates, like the exam or something like that, I'm gonna put it here. And sometimes eventually, if it is very important, you can get an email or a notification of something important is coming, an event or something. Clear so far? Easy, okay. Now, what else? Can I tell you? In week number one, sorry, in gen generally, I wanna show this. And there are like important documents. This is in every course. This is from the, let's say, all the faculties giving you saludos, apreciado estudiante, blah, blah. Which is important that you can read, reglamento estudiantil, and this applies for all the subjects. And at the same time, 
happens. At the same time, I can tell you that you can regulate yourself these days because there is a modification in Ministry of Education about, okay, this plan B, alternative under 12, but you have to contrast it to the reglamento estudiantil, how you are defending your rights and how you are accomplishing with your responsibilities, for example. And something basic here is the 20% of absences unless a valid justification, okay? And the syllabus, the syllabus of the course, you know, in here, um, there is this document in which, anyway, I put it in the, in the first week of the classes. Don't you remember? So you have it in the PDF anyway. But you can restart, okay? So no, I cannot do that, no problem. Because this is not the university account, it's not premium, so it's okay. Well, what else can you find here? We are not going to complete this because we finished the first partial, let's say here. But we need to connect the topics. So that's why all the contents are gonna be starting here in week number eight. Somebody is lost here? Is anybody like understanding what I'm talking about? Write in the chat, use the chat, my friends. Okay. In some seconds, we are going to focus. I'm reading the messages in the chat. In some seconds, we are going to read the activity number three and four. A few years. Point number two, exercise. Sorry, point number in part four. Ahorita la revisamos. Okay. Excuse me. No, no, no. No more questions in the chat, okay, private or in group. Now, this is what we did through more or less two weeks of work. Some people were working hardly, some others were, well, having issues of health or family, internet, sleeping. And as a constructive uh, activity, everyone was expected to post here yesterday, you see, yesterday, no, I, I mean Monday. The thing is that I modify it. So it's gonna be open again until nine in case you want to participate simultaneously or in case you want to change or maybe, I don't know. Because two weeks ago, some people sent emails, but many of you didn't have any idea about planning and how to create an objective. But then we discussed, I provided you with a link. Remember the image about Einstein and that stuff. So you completed with the who, what, uh, when, blah, blah, blah. So we are going to talk about this in, this in a few minutes. We're going to talk about these objectives. I continue showing the website of the course. And in here, I'm going to create on Friday a space in which you are going to post your comics. Either if it is a video, okay, you send me the link on YouTube, or if it is a link, or if it is something that is not very, or, or a picture, okay, you know, like a PDF, but don't put it in a heavy video because it's not gonna charge here, you're not gonna be uh, um, permitted. Juan, welcome back. So, this is what happened, the instruction was clear. Your, your opinion should be posted, my friends, and some people sent the email, this is kind of sad. Continue, blah, blah, blah. We, maybe at the end of the, um, of this partial, let's say, of this corte, we are going to retake this news and we're going to compare to the numbers and decisions in the moment, you see, the, like the advance of this news, the news reveal and the news retrieval. Okay. Do, do, do. I put here a reminder. I need a volunteer to read it. I put it like last week, but please, a volunteer to open the microphone and read it. I want. Let me see, let me see, let me see. No. I want, I want Diana, to participate. Okay. Sophia. Yeah, Diana. Diana, you're going to participate with number three of the book. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank okay. Diana. Okay, reminder. Mm -hmm. So, although we are not having virtual session until March 30th, you must be working on unit five and six on your navigate book. Uh, B1 books. Autonomy is the key to the success. 
teacher? Yes, is the key to success. Success. Some some people is the, like the first time that they are they are reading this, but oh my god, yes, I put it in blue and everything. Uh, autonomy. And, and then here, uh, this is not the happiest face that you can see, I'm not the hand, most handsome guy, but anyways, it's your teacher. Here you have it class by class. Maybe the people who were absent on the first day, you can click on it. I just need in this moment I will I will upload the first part because the sorry, the first day is divided into two parts. So I just uploaded the second part, which Lucero recorded. Thank you very much. And I need to upload this in one second. I already have the link in YouTube, so I'm just gonna put it. Like at the end, this is a promise. At the end of this class, at 8 a.m., I'm gonna put it. Because some people uh, wrote an email asking for that. And this is the second, about yesterday. So here is your voices and everything. Everything is recorded, okay? Of course, with academic purposes, you see? What else? Questions so far? Questions about the platform? No? Okay, what we are going to do now is in five minutes, very quickly, I would like to hear these people that post their objectives. Probably this is going to consider as a presentation one of the grades. Um, just for the record, the comic is 5%, okay? For you to remember. The exam is 15%, y ahí vamos 20. Falta el otro por discutir. All right, all right, all right, more or less. There are two more activities. The text, for, of course, and I need to show you that. But the priority is this. So we have Lina, Lucero, in total, in groups and everything, I counted like 13 people, sorry, 16. 16 people, even if you were not aware, your her, your, maybe your friends helped you or you are cooperatively. One day, Karen posted, and the other way, they, Luisa posted. But yes, they worked, I know. Laura prefer working alone. This is important, okay? You are posting your activities, but for next forums that are gradable, you are going to say discussion. You are going to activate like, dear Diana, yes, I agree with your idea, but uh, maybe you forgot. Let's analyze Diana's Sophia's example. I'm just gonna highlight it. You don't need to read it aloud. You don't need to put, in this case, you don't need to put the, the word into um, brackets. You don't need to put it into brackets. It's not necessary. And no comma, they will be able. Podran, they will be able. This is a typical mistake, not from Diana, but from everyone, that you wanna say, podran, a futuro. So maybe you think about, will can, but that's impossible. You never use two models, like will can, no, el futuro de poder será. Will be able to. And the recommendation is that you write the objectives like this. Okay, you, it is not necessary to put the population, but that you put we or they will be able to, and this verb is essential. Identify the different uses. Yes, and the rules and exceptions. There is a mistake in the spelling here. Activate will be conducted. Too much, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, with all the respect. I appreciate your, but you know, this is like good, uh, Juan, Gabriel, and Sofia. Okay. You mentioned the population, what, who, but I need it constructed. Okay, maybe like this. You see? This is more or less the idea. Could be, yeah. So I'm going to, in this moment, when the class finishes, after posting the class on YouTube and that stuff, I'm going to integrate the most important information here, you know. Laura, you did a good job, and I'm going to give you the general consensus objective of the week. We are going to include money, people, articles, quantifiers, many, much, and the most important, uh, linkers, linkers and connectors of result. Okay, this is good, Laura, because I'm going to ask in this moment, maybe five volunteers, and it can be maybe groups or individually. I would like to go to your act, to your navigate book, everybody. You don't have to do anything, but just to see, just for a second. Page 55. On page 55, we have an activity. I can activate the camera so I can show you. Okay, wait a minute. 
Yes, yes, I know. Ah, yes, Laura, you're right. I'm so sorry. So, no, no, 40, 55, I am wrong. 53, page 53. You have an email there. You have an activity about an online product. So what I would like you to do, because this is going to be part of one of the workshops. Hay un 10%, es un workshop, es un taller. Ese workshop tiene tres momentos. Uno de esos momentos es una parte oral. So in this part,